hi everyone welcome back to the channel today we are going to add two-factor authentication to your PF sense firewall so if you are looking to add two-factor authentication to your PF sense then you are on exact video let's get started first of all you need to uh, log in your web interface with your login information go to system and go to package manager click on available packages and you need to search here free radius yes this one click on install and click on confirm it will take uh, almost one minute to get installed yes it's installed successfully so now you need to uh, do some settings of free radius to configure two-factor authentication uh, go to settings tab in the free radius and scroll down to the mobile one time password OTP check this option to enable and leave the rest as default and click on save now you need to create a listener port go to interfaces tab click on add and uh, uh, you can in the interfaces remain the all things by default and you can type the description here and then click on save so listener port has been created now you need to create a user in the user management go to system user manager and create a user here uh, I am creating the user by name test user basically you need to create user uh, at uh, on two locations first location is the user management and the second location is uh, is the um, users of free radius when uh, that will be authenticated by google authenticator app so i am i am setting the password here 1234567 click on save now you need to allow free radius to accept incoming queries go to services free radius and click on NAS clients click on add now you need to type here 127.0.0.1 IP address to uh, host at local address and you can give any short name here client short name The client shared secret is very important part here to configure 2FA. You need to remember the client shared secret because it will be used after uh, when we when we will be creating the profile of authentication and remain the all things as default and click on save. Now you need to create a user here go to users click on add you need to type username as same as you created in the user manager leave the password blank here because it will be authenticated by google authenticator app select the otp auth method is the google authenticator and you can 
generate OTP secret here. You need to install Google Authenticator app on your mobile to, to scan this QR code and after this scanning you will be authenticating by Google Authenticator app. Click on save. Uh, it's time to add profile of authentication source. Go to system and go to user manager and go to authentication servers. Uh, click on add and uh, you can enter any descriptive name here type would be the radius instead of LDAP protocol would be PAP and host name would be 127.0.0.1 shared secret would be used which you uh, save in previous step client shared secret if it will be different then 2FA would not be work so the all steps are uh, defined already you need to just add your uh, qr code to mobile authenticator app now and the last step is that you need to set authentication method by from ldap to uh, you created your profile free radius so go to system and go to user manager and go to settings authentication server would be local database to MFA firewall click on save we can test our setting by uh, firewall mechanism you need to go to diagnostics and click on authentication authentication server would be the MFA firewall and username would be the which we created in previous step the password would be the first four digits of your pin and yes, then it is successfully the Google authentication code by Google Authenticator we can also test the Google Authenticator by logging into the firewall with test user yes it is working successfully now it is time to add the two, two fa server on the vpn as well click on vpn and click on open vpn click on edit here you need to select the server mode remote access user auths and backend authentication would be the mfa firewall which we created in the free radius and remain the thing as default all the things and click on save uh, yes this is uh, authentication failed now so let me uh, let me connect the VPN with test user with the Google authenticator uh, the password would be one two three four and the six digits would be Google Authenticator app. Yes, it is connected successfully with Google Authenticator. So guys, if you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.